I'm very delighted to welcome you all to the official unveiling of this magnificent court complex and the launching of the e-filing process of the Bayelsa State Judiciary. The Onopa High Court Complex is about the oldest physical infrastructure built and commissioned by the then administration of Chief DSP Sia in the year 2000. It was upgraded in 2009 by the administration of Chief Timmy Perez Silva. Until six months ago, the complex comprised of two court halls, 24 offices, which was indeed a far cry from the office accommodation needs of the state judiciary. By 2022, the once glamorous court complex became a shadow of its old self. It had collapsed ceilings, broken floor tiles, damp walls, leaking roof, and so on. The condition was so bad that it became hazardous for judges, staff, and court users generally. In order to forestall any injury to occupants, I had to make the difficult decision to evacuate the complex. Your Excellencies, our story as regards the Onopa High Court complex and the remodeling is a metaphor of the Bayesa story of triumph, in quotes, in the midst of hopelessness. When we thought all was lost, miracles popped up to show us that with God, everything is possible. This edifice is an ample testament that the Honorable Kate Abiri will find an alternative thriving career in project management, particularly in our post-retirement. I'm happy that this task has been completed and at record time being inaugurated within her tenor. It is also most fitting that one of the longest serving chief judges in our country is with us here to witness this inauguration. And more importantly, it is named after Honorable Justice Koripamo David Ngboko. I'm very sure that when she did that recommendation to me of naming this complex after Ngboko, she never knew that she was actually talking about my own uncle. I am honored to stand before you today to express my sincere appreciation to our beloved governor and the chief judge for naming this new judiciary building after our late father who served as the pioneer chief judge of Bayasa State. I am sure that the new judiciary building will be a beacon of justice and fairness and I am confident that it will stand as a testament to the value that my father held dear. The positioning of the Bayelsa State Judiciary transcends building of physical court structures. Due attention is also given to non-physical infrastructure, such as modernizing our conflict resolution platforms, rules of procedure, and training of personnel. One of the areas of modernizing our conflict resolution platform is the launching of the e-filing process today. On ground to support this launching is the Chief Judge of Boronu State, the Honorable Justice Kashim Zana. Truly speaking, Baelsa is now going to be the first state to launch it. 
one of the things that gave us the encouragement to make Baelsa actually the first state to start is we saw the promise. When we came for the first trade, even when we went only halfway in training, the lowest were already going three, four steps ahead before they were trained to do the processes. The entire project at the infrastructure level is national, whereby any lawyer anywhere in the world where there is internet can now file his case into the judiciary. And the case also will electronically move to the chief judge for assignment and on the click of her handset or laptop or whatever from anywhere in the world, she will assign or the chief judge will assign that case to the court. The court will also set a date, the judge or the registrar immediately that is clicked will set a date for hearing and then that will now move to the bailiff's office where they will also receive the system will extract the hearing notice and all the documents and the address to be filed uh, of the person sued and serve the person and once the person is served and he goes to his lawyer his lawyer also will now use his own legal mail provided by the national judicial council to log into the portal put that case number that he is served and he will be given access to file his case i'd like to at this juncture appreciate my lord the chief judge of Borono state for creating the record of making our state by elsa the first to be in the e-filing in nigeria I see this as an act of remembrance and honor to those who have served our state. And let us not just take our national anthem for granted by the singing of the hero's past. Justice K. D. Boko is actually a hero past in the judiciary of Bielsa State. the glory of God and for the use of mankind, I call this to commission this remodeled and newly constructed court complex in the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. To God be the glory, the remodeled Honorable Justice Koripamo David Ungboko OFR High Court Complex Onopa was commissioned by me Senator Daoye Diri Governor of Bielsa State on this day Wednesday 11th January 2023 Permit me to also use this opportunity to thank Your Excellency for agreeing to my suggestion to name this court complex after the first Chief Judge of Bayelsa State, Honorable Justice Koripamo David Ungugu, OFR, whose pioneering efforts led to the establishment of the enduring structures on which we have continued to build on. For us, this is the least we can do to immortalize the name of this great man. We are indeed grateful, sir. As we will all agree, courts exist to do justice, to guarantee liberty, and to enhance social order, to resolve disputes, and maintain the rule of law, to provide for equal protection, and to ensure that the due process of law is actually taking place. I wish to congratulate my sister and my lord, Justice Kate Abiri, and the judiciary for the construction of this very splendid building.